Some businesses that have called Denver home for decades are struggling to stay open. That's especially true in the Five Points neighborhood, where some say a landlord who claims to be revitalizing the area is instead taking advantage of people. Tori Mason with more on this tonight. Tori, longstanding businesses really are being put in a tough spot. Yes, Jim, and a few of the businesses in Five Points are owned by the Fly Fisher Group. Now, Fly Fisher's owner, Matthew Burkett, claimed that he wanted to help support these businesses along Welton and also preserve the area's history. Well, some business owners say that couldn't be further from the truth. Every business we've talked to, even the white-owned businesses down there, have felt some sort of victimization by Matthew Burkett. Chuck Jones opened Agave Shore in Five Points Plaza last year. Matthew Burkett, who is also their landlord, offered to buy a stake in the business, but Jones declined. That's when their relationship began to change. Several months later, he just started, you know, uh, contacting us regarding uh, ticky tack things that we were not in compliance. So they were suddenly on the hook for problems left by the previous tenant. Burkett filed a lawsuit against Agave Shore that they eventually settled. It impacts you in a way of just, you know, emotionally, mentally, right? And in, in, in all these cases, financially, right? I mean, we had to spend $13,000 not to go to court. Burkett offered coffee at the point owner, Ryan Cobbins, a similar deal. When Matthew came to me with 40% at 28,000, I said, man, you're crazy. Burkett also promised him renovations, equity in other restaurants, and a paid position within the group. That partnership eventually dissolved, at least Cobbins thought. On Friday, I got a, a letter from his attorney that said, hey, man, we want you to transfer all your assets. Burkett claims Cobbins breached their original agreement. That lawsuit and others down Welton are ongoing. It's as if he's not personally benefiting, then there's a problem. 